Hi, welcome to the Java programming tutorial. And um, what we're going to be looking at is sockets um, connecting to co connecting to computers on the internet, um, passing information and receiving information. Now, it's the same as just writing to a file. It's the same as system in and system out. And what you use to pass the information is streams. Now we used like system dot in. If you look at first class, this here is a stream, system dot in, and it's a stream of bytes. And what we had to do to, to pass it to a reader, so it wasn't bytes that we could print out, but we used a, the a class called input stream reader, which converted the byte stream into a reader. And so so we converted it to a reader, then we passed it to the buffered reader, which we could print out here. And in this case, we've passed it. We passed it into an int from a string to an int, so this would be a number. Um, but the same with sockets and surface. It's the one thing you need to know is that, that I'm not going to be connecting to another computer. So the surface is going to be on this computer, plus the socket is going to be on this computer. So I'm going to say local host is the local address. I'm going to send it to the instead of typing in like the IP loop um, which would come back to me and um, what I'm going to do is there's a, there's a name called localhost a string and what it means is the local computer so I'm going to send it back to itself and the same with the server so the two are going to be on the same computer but if you had different IP addresses on other computers and then the server on one computer and the socket on another computer they would both speak to each other the exact same way um, and so that's what I'm going to show you so the first thing I'm going to show you is the socket now this rests to a socket and there's a surfer the surfer has um, a surfer socket and a socket and we'll explain that as we get there and so each one reads its, its own program you can see both, one, both have their own name we have to try and catch and the socket and the surface socket are both classes in Java and so you make an object of them and so it's just the same as making an object socket, I called it sock new socket and I passed it two parameters now uh, the constructors in this class there's many different constructors that you can use with different parameters or no parameters at all now I chose to to put a local host here which would be an IP address and local host means the, 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 the IP address of this computer or the, the 127001 um, loopback um, address and I think I'm not too sure now so and um, 77777 is a port number now ports computers have ports, they're not a physical thing, it's a logical thing it's a software requirement that you send something to someone's computer there's thousands of ports on the software and so when it gets an IP address it checks to see what port number and if it says a port number which is not opened or it's read to this you don't get access no. um, or d d it's a, if you've got all your ports open in a computer, your computer's not safe so you'll have all, all your port numbers lost and protected um, and so so when someone sends tries to access your computer um, you would have given permission and you'd have given that port number to access with a certain software package and so uh, that port number would be opened um, and so this port number we are going to use and the surfer class is going to have the same port number is this one and so that's what we're going to use to access the computers again I don't want to speak too much because um, well you just I want to show you you just want to see um, so so this is a port number and so that's a local host and that's a port number and the same with the surfer the surfer surfer socket is a class I've called it surf new server socket and this just takes a port number. It's not going to access itself, it's just going to return 
um, data to if they're connected to it and so it doesn't need to know where they came from and so but it does need to know the port number to sit to and so I've done a string and we also have a set at also have a socket a surfer has to accept a connection and it does it through a socket because the socket's going to get information from that port plus it's going to send information from that port if it is if it has to and it's done with a socket we call the SS and then you can see the the name of this server socket dot accept that's accepting connection and that's the little bit extra between a surfer and and a socket is a surfer socket has a server socket and a socket and what you'll see here is that we've, we've seen this before where we've got a buffered reader and if I go here this is it this is this was us um, doing input um, typing in a number from the console and printing it to screen and to do that we use system in no system in is all bytes it's a stream but a reader is not a stream it's all characters that we can see strings and so we have to convert this these bytes into characters like a string um, like um, a string and this class in the middle is a is one that changes the byte stream to a reader so this changes it to a reader and so the buffered reader can now accept the data from the stream into the buffered reader and we can we can access print it out to screen so we've got input here and we've got input read line and we've passed it to an integer so it's like pass int to convert a string to an integer and then we print it out to screen right here and that's the exact same as what we're doing if we go to the socket we've got the buffered reader input new buffered reader input stream reader and it's not system in it's socket socket soc dot get input stream because it's a stream but that stream is going to get converted into a string and that's how that's how we get input from somewhere else and to send in to send data what we've got is a print stream remember I said that the stream is all bytes and it's a reader and a writer is different from a stream so print stream is going to print instead of printing to screen um, the, the, your computer screen what the print stream is going to do is going to print it to the stream on the network and so if it's connected to the other side of the network that is to receive the socket it's going to get um, this print stream and so they'll get that on their computer and be able to do whatever they want with it and so that's what print stream does and so PS is what we called it to access it new print stream and inside here we've got socket get output stream because it's not something we're taking into our computer it's something we're sending from our computer to another computer to the server so get output stream and so so that's us created an object of print, um, print stream and we've told it that we're going to send it to the socket soc dot get output stream so ps dot print ln to a state system dot out dot print ln and we're going to print this from socket with love and that will appear on the socket the server and this buffered reader is going to take information from the server so if we go back if we go back to the server we've got the buffered reader to read the information that we sent we just sent from the socket from socket with love and input buffered reader system same again and it's instead of get output it's get input this ss is what we call the socket and so we created we created a, a string called message and it's input dot read line the same as we've done with the file to read the the, the print stream it's sent from the socket computer to to the server computer we're going to read that those characters 
sent because it's in buffers we've converted the bytes to characters so we're going to read that with the dot input dot read line and then we're going to print from socket and message whatever that message was and then after that we're going to we're going to send something to the socket so we're using print stream again called it ps again new print stream ss is the socket dot get output stream this is get output stream because we're going to send something to the socket the other computer on the internet the network ps dot print ln from server with rough and system dot out socket connected to server ok and then we cross we cross the the server and so what I'm going to do uh, one more point is that for to, to, to send information to a server the server's got to be up and running so so if, if you've got a socket and you want to connect and it's not been the computer switched off or the program's not running or something uh, you'll get an error it'll say sorry couldn't connect sort of thing so the server's the first one that's got to be opened up and running and then and then the socket can, can connect to it and so if I run the socket first then we'll get an error and we'll, we'll think that there's something wrong with that network and we won't access it but if we run the server first then run the socket then the socket will connect with the server um, you can imagine if most people um, know if, um, what servers are and they've experienced it and on the internet websites and doing things like that when the server's not working or it's down it doesn't matter what you do, you're not going to get connected to it. Um, but if a server's up and you can't connect to it, it's not its problem. It's But the most important thing, it's got to be up first for people to be able to get that service. And so what I'm going to do is run the server pass. Right, and then run the socket class. And if I open it bigger, Right. What you can see here, this is from server, this is the socket from server, right, that's what we printed in to send, and from server with rough, with rough, and um, that's what we, that's what we sent from the, the socket, and so if I go to the, the server, this is what was, this is what was, um, we sent from the socket from from the socket was right from socket with rough and then after that we said socket connected to server okay and so what you can see is from socket this is the server from socket and the message sent from the socket and what we sent out was from server with rough and what you can see here is is from socket with rough was what we sent and then we said from server is and the message that was sent from the server so you can see that this was this is actually working um, and so so I don't want to be this to go on for too long and say I've already spoken for too much and so so that's that's um basic um server and sockets and what you've got to remember is that you, you can you can have many um, people, many sockets connecting to a server at one time, and so we're going to go into threads, um, and and so that, that that more than one more than one socket can be connected to different threads of that server at, at one time, and also um, we can have a continuous while loop inside the the, the server where where the one it's it's. Can it accepted a connection from a socket and then it accepts another connection from a socket and it just continues all the time rather than just being dedicated to one so again thank you for your time